is uh, in a family of related molecules that can produce something called carotenoids. And this is a, a family of organic molecules and they're quite highly coloured. Carotenoids are one of the reasons, for example, that carrots are orange. And of course there are ways to make this already, but what colleagues here at the Manchester Institute of Biotechnology have been doing is uncovering new chemical reactivity of these B12 units and finding that they can do chemistry that nobody else knew about before by simply shining light on these molecules. B12 may be an essential vitamin in life, but it also absorbs light. But it won't just absorb light and then the light kind of hangs around for a while. It absorbs light and then a lot of series of very fast chemical processes happen. So we have a hypothesis. Most good science is hypothesis driven. And I would say 80% of the time you find out that your hypothesis was wrong. The way B12 traditionally works in biology is that it has a common mechanism the underlying chemistry tends to be always very similar. However, its light-dependent function is completely new chemistry, and that's what caught us off guard. B12 usually, when you eat it in your body, uh, it creates a radical pair, so you have very reactive species floating around, and that's not always a good thing. So in this case, it goes and does some completely different chemistry. It's actually a kind of signalling pathway, so it's absorbing light and it's passing a, a signal further down a biological pathway. This instrument is basically capable of telling you the weight of a molecule, how heavy it will be, but it can also tell you how big that is. Uh, we can say how extended it will be or how focused it will be. So using this combination of um, electrospray and light activation, we've been able to follow the whole process of uh, B12 binding to carriage. So we've been able to monitor this specific intensity. So by turning the light on, we've monitored the signal increasing and following the pulses of this um, LED. So by putting this B12, this vitamin, into the laser, it isn't just you hit it with light and it glows, it's you hit it with light and it turns into something and then something else and something else and then it glows at the end. And in this particular case, what this protein does that requires B12 is that in the dark it binds B12, which is a vitamin, and then the whole assembly binds DNA. And then that switches that bit of DNA off. When it's in the light, the photochemistry of the B12 makes this protein assembly fall apart. That releases the DNA and switches it on. So it's an on switch. Switching genes on and off could have very strong potential in terms of phototherapeutic applications. But there are obviously strong ethical implications from being able to switch genes on and off inside humans and this is something we're going to have to carefully consider moving forward. Manchester is the perfect environment to do this sort of science. Modern research science has to be interdisciplinary. It has to involve different people with different expertise, different bits of kit so that we can ultimately answer the really big questions. The implication of this is that we may be able to make new types of molecules, certainly in this carotenoid family, that were perhaps inaccessible before. And if you think about their bigger role in terms of photosynthesis, this might open up opportunities to make new molecules with new applications that benefit you and I in ways that no one's even thought of yet.